for Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. All right, that's it over for another look at the forecast as we begin the week off today. And that storm over the weekend delivered. It sure did. Absolutely beautiful to see the snow back up in the mountains and even some spots down in our valleys in northern Utah picked up some healthy snow, especially thanks to some lake effect. There was a band that more or less set up from Tuella and over towards Magna and stretched all the way down into Utah County. So that was really cool to see. And as we go into tonight, it'll be chilly, but maybe not quite as cold compared to last night. But our active pattern, it does continue. We'll have a weak system that arrives late tonight. First thing tomorrow, mainly in northern Utah, then more of a potent system arrives for the middle of the week. And we'll talk more about what that means for you coming up in just a moment. High pressure quickly moving out of the way. A weak cold front approaching from our northwest. Clouds will start to increase as we go through tonight in northern Utah. And then by daybreak tomorrow, we'll start to see wet weather moving through the northern portion of the state. In the meantime, though, Mount Ogden snow basin looking incredible right now. Nice fresh snow up there and our temperatures they're below average. This time last week we were talking about temperatures about 10 degrees above average. Again, not the case today. Right now we're sitting at 48 in Salt Lake City, 46 in Provo, 46 in Ogden, 44 degrees in Logan and we're sitting at 59 degrees in St. George. So maybe you need something to warm you up and this is something that will warm your heart. This is Snoopy and he's hugging his teddy bear and that is precious. He's even got it covered in his blanket. But as we go through this evening in Salt Lake, we'll see those temperatures falling through the 40s, eventually into the upper 30s, but those temperatures really won't move much more from there thanks to that extra cloud coverage moving in and with a little bit of a southerly wind trying to move in thanks to that cold front ahead of it. But we'll see those overnight lows dropping at 39 in Salt Lake, 31 degrees in Logan and late tonight. First thing tomorrow, you might see some a few flurries up in Logan, but down in southern Utah tomorrow, we're mainly going to be looking at mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies with temperatures just a little bit warmer compared to what we saw today. But for tonight will definitely be chilly in the eastern half of the state and we do have freeze warnings for portions of Uinta County down to Grand County and San Juan County as well as overnight lows will be dropping to around 25 degrees. So make sure that you protect those sensitive plants and those pipes as well. Let's go ahead and put things into motion here on the future cast six o'clock this evening. Things staying relatively calm, but notice what happens as we go into the overnight hours. Those showers starting to approach the Utah Idaho state line and then those showers continue to move in from the north and by daybreak tomorrow around five six o'clock in the morning. We're gonna have the chance for valley rain mountain snow and given the temperatures tonight, we could see at least a little bit of snow in our northernmost valleys throughout the morning hours, but then those showers will continue to generally work their way down to the south as we go from the morning into the afternoon. I'm thinking by midday tomorrow, most of the wet weather will be either in or south of Utah County before eventually that front drying itself out. We'll see a little extra cloud coverage down south, but the chance of any wet weather making its way south of I-70 looks to be pretty low at this point. And while this system won't be nearly as significant compared to what we saw over this past weekend, there's a chance, especially in the upper Cottonwoods, that we see more than several inches of snow, and we'll take that, especially since we're working our way towards upcoming ski season. But let's go ahead and begin the long range future cast. So this cold front being driven by a low pressure system that's quickly going to be moving out of the way, but a more potent system arriving going from our Wednesday into Thursday. And we'll have more chances to see valley rain and mountain snow and maybe even a little bit better of a chance of seeing at least some snow down in our valleys. But that's all before another high pressure moves in and we'll see calmer conditions by the end of the work week into this upcoming weekend. For St. George, it's upper 60s for our Tuesday and Wednesday, a little bit more cloud coverage. But with that front moving through, we won't see much in the way of moisture in lower Washington County temperatures will cool down for our Thursday, but then we're right back to around 70 degrees this upcoming weekend should be some great days down in St. George, but along the Wasatch front chance for showers early tomorrow and then rain likely on our Wednesday and then we'll hold on to that chance through early on Thursday with cooler temperatures finding their way back in what with high pressure settling in Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Daytime highs will moderate through the mid and upper 50s with overnight lows climbing more so into the upper 30s. Glenn, 